Good day YouTube. Just a bit of a fun quick video on a comparison between Windows 7 on the left and Ubuntu 20.04 latest release on the right. In terms of CPU usage and uh, let's say yeah, RAM usage as well, that sort of thing. So a very old operating system that's barely supported, really running out of fashion really soon there. And Ubuntu 20.04 that's actually got five years of support which is nice to see because it's so new there. Now I will need to uh, load up a few quick things here on one end, but otherwise they are booted up from scratch. So nothing else loaded here at the moment. And I typed in task scheduler as opposed to task manager. Now this uh, shows how much I actually use the, I can't even get that to load. Here we go, use uh, Windows. But uh, let's have a look here. So it's it's pretty cool. It's actually not too bad. So if I was to load up some details here, so idling eh, a little bit at about 15, 10, 20%. Uh, roughly doing the same, in fact maybe a little bit less here on the Ubuntu side there. And uh, we have, uh, yeah, straight off the bat about 530-550 uh, megabytes of RAM uh, as opposed to about the 650-700 megabytes of RAM of Ubuntu. Now it is a much newer operating system by a factor of probably 15 years, so this is something that you would expect. Uh, but uh, yeah, Windows, probably expect that there as well. That tends to jump as soon as you've got uh, all sorts of little things in the background going on. That really tends to jump up, skyrocket. But you know, it is fair to say that uh, if you've got enough things open on Ubuntu 2, it will do the same thing. But all in all, um, on boot up at least, as a very non-scientific look, just a really basic look that does depend on a lot of factors. Roughly about the same usage, especially as I just talked right then. It's, it's moved up to 600 meg of RAM. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's super simple, quick, fun video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, all of those nice things.